Hello, welcome. In this short video, let us look at how to use the Euler's formula to derive some of the trigonometric identities. It is given the Euler's formula e power j theta is equal to cos of theta plus j sin theta where j is equal to square root of minus 1. So given this information, let us derive some of the basic trigonometric identities. First one is an expression for cos. So using this formula, we, we can write that e power j theta is equal to cos theta plus j sin theta. By putting j equal to minus j, we can write that e power minus j theta is equal to cos theta minus j sin theta. Just by replacing j with minus j, we have this formula. Now adding these two equations, we have that is adding 1 and 2 implies that e power j theta plus e power minus j theta is equal to 2 times cos theta. Therefore, cos theta is equal to 1 by 2 multiplied by the sum of e power j theta and e power minus j theta. That is sum of e power j theta with its conjugate and divided by 2 gives cos theta. Now let us look at the expression for sin theta. Simply by subtracting equation 2 from 1, we have e power j theta minus e power minus j theta is equal to 2 times j times sin theta. Therefore, sin theta is equal to 1 by 2j, simply transferring 2j onto the other side. We have 1 by 2j multiplied by e power j theta minus minus e power minus e power minus j theta. That is difference of the e power j theta with its conjugate divided by 2j gives sin theta. Now let us look at an expression for cos square theta. So from this result we know that cos theta is equal to half of the sum of e power j theta and its conjugate. So cos square theta is equal to 1 by 2 e power j theta plus e power minus j theta whole square which is equal to 1 by 4 multiplied by a plus b whole square where a and b are con complex numbers. So here we have e power 2j theta that is a square plus b square which is e power minus 2j theta and 2a beta which is 2 times e power j theta into e power minus j theta which is equal to 1. Therefore, this is equal to 2 plus and this is e power 2j theta plus e power minus 2j theta. So, by looking at the definition of cos theta and replacing theta with 2 theta, we can clearly see that this is equal to 2 times cos of 2 theta divided by 1, 4. So, this is equal to 1 by 2 multiplied by 1 plus cos of 2 theta. Therefore, cos square theta is equal to 1 by 2 multiplied by 1 plus cos 2 theta. Now, let us derive the expression for the product sin theta multiplied by sin phi. So, by using the result, sin theta is equal to 1 by 2j multiplied by e power j theta minus e power minus j theta. We have sin theta multiplied by sin phi is equal to 1 by 2j e power j theta minus e power minus j theta multiplied by 1 by 2j e power j phi minus e power minus j phi. So, this is equal to 1 minus 1 by 4 that is j square is minus 1. So, we have minus 1 by 4 multiplied by the product of these two differences which is e power j theta plus phi that is this term the product of these two terms and then the next product which is e power minus j theta minus phi and then we have minus of minus of theta minus phi and then we have plus e power 
minus j of theta plus phi. Therefore, this is equal to minus 1 by 4 is equal to rearranging the terms we have e power j theta plus phi plus e power minus j of theta plus phi that is this term and this term and then we have minus of e power j theta minus phi and then plus e power minus j theta minus phi and then now taking minus 1 by 2 inside the brackets and leaving the other 1 by 2 outside we have 1 by 2 multiplied by we have plus 1 by 2 multiplied by this sum which is equal to e power j theta minus phi plus e power minus of j theta minus phi and then we have minus of 1 by 2 e power j theta plus phi plus e power minus j of theta plus phi multiplied by theta plus phi is equal to and this is by definition cos of theta minus phi and this is cos of theta plus phi. Therefore, we have sin theta multiplied by sin phi is equal to 1 by 2 cos of theta minus phi minus 1 by 2 cos of theta plus phi. Finally, let us look at the derivation of sine of theta plus phi, which is by definition equal to 1 by 2 j e power j or multiplied by theta plus phi, e power j multiplied by theta plus phi minus minus j into theta plus phi. And this is equal to 1 by 2 j multiplied by e power j theta into e power plus j phi minus e power minus j theta into e power minus j phi. Next we have 1 by 2 j multiplied by now using the Euler's formula we have cos theta plus j sin theta. And for this we have cos phi plus j sin phi. And for the second term we have minus cos theta minus j sin phi cos theta minus j sin theta cos phi minus j sin phi and this is equal to 1 by 2j cos theta into cos phi which is basically expanding the terms we have plus j cos theta sin phi Next, we have plus j sin theta cos phi and finally minus sin theta sin phi. For the second product, we have minus cos theta cos phi for the first two terms and then we have this minus of cos theta multiplied by minus of j sin phi. So, this plus j cos theta sin phi and then we have minus of minus plus j sin theta cos phi and finally we have minus of minus plus and j into j is minus and then another minus so it should be again a plus sin theta sin phi clearly these two terms and these two terms cancel each other and then we have 1 by 2j multiplied by 2j cos theta sin phi plus 2j sin theta cos phi. So, upon further simplification we can clearly see that sin of theta plus phi is clearly equal to sin of theta cos phi plus cos theta sin phi. Thus, we can derive standard trigonometric identities using the Euler's formula. Thanks for watching.